Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Asteroid Defense Series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23.5. And it seems like the more asteroids we decide to track, the more pop up. So we've got more unknown objects here. They're all Class C, amazingly enough. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm going to hold off on them for now. Uh, our main target right now is this one that's approaching in 5 days and 13 hours, and that's when we'll have to deal with that. The rest all come in later. This one doesn't even seem to have any intercept. So I'm actually not going to track this anymore. I'm going to stop tracking that. Because uh, that's, that's not uh, coming in anywhere. So, otherwise they all come in somewhat later. And we intend to deal with everything. That is the current plan, but our our little claw mission last time didn't work out quite quite right. So, so I'm going to have to look into how to make our launcher and everything better. And to do that, we need to go to the VAB. Okay, so here was the AD1, and I think the whole idea of using RCS here was flawed. I Obviously RCS doesn't have particularly great ISP, 260 in the vacuum, and of course the low thrust is very annoying as well. These have 290, so they're not that much better, but maybe they'll be a little bit less annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, not entirely remove RCS because we need some RCS, but uh, let's uh, replace this center tank with perhaps something like this or even bigger because we need to be able to move asteroids around and we're not gonna be able to do that with the with the RCS the way we had it so let's put some let's put four of these thrusters and four of these tanks um, I guess maybe we should have a decoupler up above so that we don't have to worry about the mass like we did before. Uh, and that would be less than adding another parachute, so that's a parachute, a 0.15, and a decoupler is only 0 0.05. Not the best idea. Not the best idea I've ever had. Let's put these lower. In fact, one thing we can do is maybe some more lights and solar panels. Let's have... Illuminators. Okay, and I'm going to go with red on these. And uh, there are many different techniques for making use of the lights. And I'm not going to do too much of that. I'm going to be satisfied if I can see things. Okay, and then more solar panels. Instead of having... we had one extendo here. We should have four on this stage, I think. Can we see them deployed? Oh, I'm, I'm using... I'm not using angle snap here. No, we can't see them deployed. Okay, well... We'll have to trust that they look alright deployed. Okay, so we've got some more lights and some battery power... I think we'll be fine. Uh, what I want to do is get rid of these little the guys. It turns out they didn't, weren't necessary. They might be necessary now, though I don't think so. I think we... Uh, uh, dumping the RCS that we did, we've replaced it with just about the same amount of stuff. So it shouldn't be too bad. The thrust weight ratio on this upper stage is not going to be great. But there'll be something. Uh, but what I want to do is actually add boosters. These 
do you think that'll give me any interesting... Well... You know what? Maybe. Maybe we can extend this center portion with another one of these tanks. I really don't like the idea of those boosters. Maybe we should just use uh, side boosters, uh, full-sized with the skipper engines. Or maybe something even more exotic. Ooh, hmm. I could do my uh, tip bono, can I? No, I don't have that part. Oh well. I just gotta do the little stage where I put nine of the LV uh, T-45s or LVT-30s at the bottom of this, but we don't have the part for that. So, I think it'd be more constructive to have uh, large boosters. Shall we pretend that this will be able to parachute down? I don't think so. But then, that looks a lot better than the alternative, which is putting this. Ugh. Okay, we'll pretend it'll parachute down. There we go. Could put four. Ooh, you know what I haven't done, like, ever? Putting three. I think that would be a good thing to do. Yeah. And let's get more launch clamps put here. Now we are going to fuel feed into the center. I haven't ever done th have I ever done three in a video? Have I ever done three at all? Three-way symmetry seems like a horribly bad idea in this case, but but it's something to try out. Let's get the Separatrons on, because we want to make sure that the boosters fall clear of everything else. Okay. And Struts, because even though they have a uh, nice joint reinforcement now, the, that doesn't necessarily extend to radial bodies like these. That's just between, within the stacks, we don't have to add struts to support stuff, but these radial bodies could still use with some support. Okay, so w hopefully with that, uh, we won't have to burn any of this stage to get into orbit or anything like that. Heck, with all this, maybe we won't have to do anything too amazing at all. Um, these should go here. So we still have one piece of space junk that I wanted to retrieve. You know what? Maybe we should do some more science instead of uh, just having this. We've got a decoupler here. We've got parachutes. Maybe... Um, maybe I should take a look at what we haven't done. I, 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 have we carried a science junior to Mooner space? Okay, let me go to the tech tree and see whether we've brought a science junior over there. So, looking at the science archives, if we go to Carbon and the Moon, Crew report, EV report, Material study high over the Moon, but not a material study low over the moon. Okay, so we, we haven't done that yet. And what about Minmus? No material studies, just the EVA report from Jeb. No goo either. Okay, so I'll take that into advisement. So let's see where we might fit such things. Oh dear. Run. Why does it occasionally not let me let go of something? So I can't let go of this for some reason. Okay, well let's get rid of it for now. Um, so what if we put a goo container up here? And one of these guys like that. Oh, not bad. 
Not Goo Container, sorry, Science Junior. Um... This thing will definitely be upside down on re-entry, uh, when the parachute's open though. Let's see, maybe we can put these up here. I think we... Should we... Uh, I'm tempted to just focus on the science mission then. So we're going to, this is going to be the one that we send to any asteroid and we'll do a future uh, debris intercept mission, but I don't want to do that this time. So let's modify it for a, a, as a science mission instead of as a debris. Oh, uh, I, I don't need a science junior if I'm just going to be going for an asteroid. Okay, this time it, let me do that. Okay, so this is asteroid defense, but let's try and do a science mission. And so, what we need is we don't really need as much RCS. Actually, you know what? What we really needed was a reaction wheel. That's not bad looking, is it? Got the four thrusters, like so. Oh, it's some R some RCS. Not the most efficient thing I know. But interesting, very interesting. Let's have two of the lights. And we're going to go to Minmus with this. So we're just going to test out this configuration. We're going to send this over to Minmus, do some science over there. I don't know. Seems like we could do much more with it, but uh, landing on Minmus? Shall we try to land on Minmus? In that case, these will have to go the other way around. Yeah, let's try for a uh, Minmus landing. Mm, we don't want it to be so tall though. That's the trouble with the Science Junior, it always makes things tall. Yeah, let's not bring the Science Junior along if we're going to land on Minmus. Well, that looks like a Minmus lander, doesn't it? Maybe we don't need these. Maybe we need more fuel. Now we don't want the lights to be the color of the surface of Minmus, but I think uh, we should go with straight up green. Or maybe, yeah, a slightly darker green. Let's see. No, that might be too close to the color of Minmus. Um, that's even worse. Let's say, no, red is not what I want. That's even worse. Okay, let's let's go with very vivid green. Okay. No, the problem is this light is in the well. Okay, on Minmus we don't have to even worry about it. No, I don't need these barometers. On Minmus we don't have to worry about uh, ladder as such. Though I guess we could add some rungs, but uh, the ability to control them is much easier. Okay, so let's get a little bit more science on here, a thermometer or two, might be advisable. We have RCS units, but we don't have RCS fuel. I'm trying to figure out a place to stick this, that won't be completely unbalanced. We either need RCS or we need a reaction wheel. Can we shove a reaction wheel in? Guess we could put one at the bottom, that'd be very well balanced. We need some... Oh, we've got the solar panels, so that's alright.
So I guess we'll get rid of the RCS. Does the pod have its own little bit of RCS? Oh, it does. It has 15 units of RCS. That's probably... Is it worth putting these on for that much? I guess. Just for the look of it. Okay, well that's our Mimis Lander. How do you like that? So this is all getting into orbit transit stage Mimis Lander. So we'll call this Mimis 1. Let's make sure things are configured properly. Alright, let's uh, launch this puppy to Mimis. Oh, uh, let's pick who we should send, huh? Not, not uh, Jeb. Mitgun Kerman. Yep, Mitgun Kerman gets it. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're gonna have to time warp on the launch pad a bit. Okay. Now we've got light. Alright, three-way symmetry. Let's see if it works out for us or if it's a complete disaster. Uh, SAS is on. Throttle up. Okay. Mm Should have uh, action grouped the solar panels, but uh, let's... Oh, that's a little bit interesting, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll do with that. <laughs> sort of a Christmas theme. Okay, so Mick and Kerman. Let's see if you can get to Midmus, but first to orbit. Okay, very nice. Strange how slow we're uh, gaining thrust here. Maybe I should put some more, uh, or reduce how much fuel I have, or put some more force into it, because this isn't good enough. Definitely losing a lot to gravity here. Now, once we separate the boosters, we are going to start losing speed a bit, I think because we did add that fuel and these are feeding in so this fuel tank is going to be full and we'll have a thrust to weight ratio of less than one for a bit. Okay. I really should figure out where Mimis is and turn towards uh, uh, adjust the inclination for that and we should have timed this a little bit better but obviously I'm not doing all that. Okay, separation was good. I'm not entirely sure whether the parachutes will be helpful or not. So here we are losing speed for a bit. So, Minmus. Where are you, Minmus? Oh, we right past you. Set us targets. Oh, well, the descending node is right there. Gotta figure that uh, if we we could do a maneuver right there. So if we get our apoapsis there, we can we can sort of uh, burn for orbit and adjust the inclination at the same time. So that's a, that's a nice idea. Where are the planets, by the way? We haven't really th talked about interplanetary missions, and that's because we've got all these asteroids coming in. Just wanted to take a peek at where everything was. Okay, actually we should start uh, adjusting my inclination here, huh? We're still a little bit low, but I'll fix that at apoapsis, or maybe at the ascending node. Yeah, let me uh, fix the rest of the orbit at the ascending node. Okay, that'll be a good enough burn, and I'll complete our orbit. And we'll still have we'll still be on this stage, so that's interesting. We've got this whole stage, we've got this stage, and we've got a lander stage. So we're we're overpowered for fuel, and that's why I was checking the planets because this thing feels like it could get all the way over to Duna or something like that. Not to land on Duna itself because it doesn't have the thrust on the lander stage to do that, but maybe to land on Ike. 
So that's that's a thing in our future, folks. But we have to deal with some asteroids first. There'll be lots of asteroid defense to do before we get there. But landing on Mimus, important deal here. Electric charge is going down and we're going to go into the dark side of the planet. So let's turn on the lights first and then extend some solar panels, shall we? Problem is we're going to have a lot more space junk. I guess you could say problem or potential potential target practice. Actually, that'll be interesting if we could uh, clear up more than one piece of space junk permission. That might be worthwhile. Should have put docking ports on these fuel tanks. Clearly, I've got more fuel than I needed. So let's plot for Minmus now. Mm -hmm. around here should do. That's why I kept my periapsis down because I think I can burn out from it to get to Mimis. Indeed. Three days though. Oh, that's the thing about Minmus encounters. They take so long. No, we need a fast trip to Minmus. That's what we need. We are not doing any of the slow stuff. No. One day, that's more like it. But will, will, be, will we be able to get back in time for the asteroid? That's the question. So that's too fast. Right, one day. Now we're talking. So we'll take that encounter with Mimis. So that we won't miss the asteroid coming in. Okay, on we go. We seem to be a bit off here. Let me add a maneuver at this node to fix that. Oh, that takes longer. No, I, I want to get there just as quickly. I guess I'll have to deal with that. Okay. The Minmus Expedition continues. Okay, that's fine. Ten days, so that the return is a little bit of a problem. Okay. We might have to launch the asteroid mission while while he's on Minmus. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should put that into orbit uh, after landing him. I think maybe I'll leave. Uh, I'll end the episode with that. Instead of uh, bringing him back in this episode, I'll leave him on Minmus and make sure that I launch the the asteroid defense mission, just in case our asteroid comes into the system while while he's on his way back. Okay, so let's burn for Minmus orbit now. Woo, not that much. Lots and lots of fuel here. Kerbin over there. Minus there.
17 hours? Oh dear. Wow. Okay, hold on a sec. Wow, so because we're so far up from Minmus, it actually takes us 17 hours to get from the Apoapsis to Periapsis. Uh, we're basically standing still in the middle of space here. Well, I mean, uh, relative to Kerbin, because, because we're uh, going so slow. I mean, our orbit is 11.1 .1 meters per second around Minmus, and Minmus itself is not traveling very fast around Kerbin. So, let me just uh, take a peek at... Uh, well, let's set his target. Okay. Um. Hmm. Setting us target here does not seem to show me any indication of whether it's going to slam into Kerbin or not. Even though I know this one does. This one is the one that we are tracking. Very easy to remember because it goes inside Kerbin's orbit. Very unusual. As you can see, most of them stay be between Kerbin and Duna. This one gets into our orbit. But now I don't see its encounter with Kerbin. So that's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, it's still out there, so let's, let's just continue this and get to Periapsis and make the landing. Yeah, we said five days before, and I don't think it's been five days yet. Oh, I, I could always use this time. Okay, so that's us in orbit, and we can burn for a landing right now. Yeah, well, let's just do that. Let's say we'll land here, assuming Minus doesn't rotate too much in the interim. Okay. I think we have to ditch this stage even though it's got like lots and lots of fuel. And we'll probably have to dis ditch this stage uh, pretty soon too. Yeah, well, uh, we'll go with this stage for now. And we'll use that for our descent, but we, we really wasted a lot of fuel in this mission. This is overpowered for Minmus. You probably knew that already, but... Okay, over here will be good. So let's go retrograde. I really don't need all of the panels out, do I? Not right now. Not on landing. Meanwhile, I would like the landing gear out in preparation. We did all the near, near Minmus stuff before, so. Okay, but we didn't get a thermometer scan before, did we? I hope we got a thermometer on here, yeah? Okay, good. Uh, we'll have to keep data because I don't think I put an antenna, and I usually don't because I intend to bring everything back. Okay, I think we're in a good place to start getting rid of our velocity here. Oh, we should go with surface speed. No good doing orbital speed at this point. So we're basically going to be landing right here. Hope it's nice and smooth. Okay, I'm going to dump this stage now. Let's use it to get rid of some of our velocity here. Okay, well. Lots of wasted fuel. Sorry about that. Okay, looks like we're 700 meters away from the surface.
Okay, there we go. Midgun Kerman has landed on the surface of Minmus, the first Kerbal to do so in this save. Uh, without further ado, let's well, let's do our experiments first. Observe Mystery Goo. Okay, 50 science there. Let us find our other thermometer. Log temperature from Minmus's Midlands. Keep that data. And EVA please, Midgun. You know, it wouldn't be too hard for him to hit more than one biome. Okay, float on down. Yep. I mean, he could uh, go up and then uh, come back down again with... Uh, probably probably has enough fuel in the, in the actual pod. Okay, take surface sample. 150 points. Yes, indeed. EV report. Feel like a superhero? Keep the data. Should have brought a transmitter so that we could send that 40 back. No point keeping it on hand. And, uh... Okay, uh, Mitgun in the Minmus Midlands. And let's uh, put uh, a truncated date. There we go. Okay. For the defense of Kerbin. Okay. Looks good. We need to do a crew report. I didn't forget that. So let's get back. Uh, let's get our pack out. Go up, forward, up, right, right. Oh, come on. That was just... Okay. Line up properly this time then. Oosh. Okay, grab. Okay, go up and board. Okay, now crew report. Crew's assessment of the situation. And yeah, I, I could have uh, had it so that these uh, he just retrieved it from the goo containers and it all decoupled, but could have done that with the Science Junior too, but yeah, forgot. <laughs> Actually, with the Science Junior, I forgot about that. Uh, for these, uh, it didn't really matter. Okay, so we've done our business here. The question is whether we... Uh, well, let's turn the lights off for now. The question is whether we can get back to Kerbin before the asteroid comes in. There's the asteroid. You can see it's, it's not far away. No, no indeed. See, that's pretty dangerously close, isn't it? Let's get our asteroid... You know what, okay, so we'll, we'll leave, leave Mitgun on the surface of Minmus, and I'll call it a day for now. But uh, in the next episode, we'll get our asteroid defense mission up there right away. And see what we can do about that little asteroid. I mean, I thought it was going to be hitting Kerbin, but now I'm not so sure. It looks very close. I mean, when you look at the orbits, it's... Yeah, it's getting there. You'd think it'd be under the influence of... Well, anyway, we'll see. Uh, so we'll see in the next episode what's up with this asteroid and how we might intercept it. And also, if we have the time, bring Mitgun back home. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.